Hello there and welcome to the Reading Bard Fiction Book Reviews. My name is Hina Rathor P and I'm a crime and thriller author and an international book reviewer. I review books given to me by authors, publishers, editors and publicists from around the world in exchange for honest reviews. I also review books for NetGalley and Adelaide Literary Magazine along with a few other book reviewing platforms. I've been reviewing books from last two and a half years and so far I've reviewed more than 150 titles on request. To read all my reviews, you can visit my blog The Reading Bud at www.thereadingbud.com. This is episode number two of the Reading Bud Fiction Book Reviews and today I'll be reviewing The Cocksmith's Daughter by author Kate M. Colby. Author Kate M. Colby is a fellow blogger and a friend and in order to help her promote her amazing book, I requested it from her. She was kind enough to provide me an e-book copy of her book in exchange for an honest review. Following are the book details. Name, The Cocksmith's Daughter, author, Kate M. Colby, release date, October 15, 2015, series, Desertera, genre, dystopian, steampunk, fantasy, edition, e-book, Moby format, pages, 306, publisher, Boxthorn Press, source, author. The Cocksmith's Daughter is the first steampunk book I've read in a long time and I must say that I'm really happy that I did. This book is nothing short of a masterpiece. The Cocksmith's Daughter has a brilliantly written and efficiently developed plotline that is set in a mesmerizing new world. Playful yet serious at the same time, author Kate M. Colby's writing is simply outstanding. As soon as I started reading the first chapter, I completely lost myself in the scary yet interesting world of Aya. I was able to relate to her on so many levels that I still feel that she is not just a character but a friend whom I know inside out. This only proves that the characterization is beyond perfect, it's simply magical. I fell in love with the male lead just as Aya did and felt every emotion in the deepest corners of my heart. I felt sad when Aya was sad and felt happy when she found even a tiny bit of joy. Most of all, I enjoyed Aya's thought process and her innocence and determination made her a very compelling character. Other characters were also crafted finely and I loved them all, even the well-crafted character of the protagonist. I have no words to describe the brilliance of the world building that was executed flawlessly by the author in this book. Kudos to a job well done. The book ended on a great note and I felt completely satisfied after finishing the book. Yet at the same time, I was left craving for the next part. I thoroughly enjoyed reading this beautiful book and I'd recommend it to all the readers who are looking for an epic new series to read. Thanks a lot for listening to this podcast. If you like this review, please share this podcast with your family and friends on Twitter, Facebook and WhatsApp. To read this review, please visit my blog The Reading Bud at www.thereadingbud.com. You can also read this review at Goodreads and Amazon. Thanks again for listening. This is your friend Hina aka The Reading Bud signing off.